Morning everyone. As you probably already know, it's Mental Health Awareness Week. Um, it's not something I've been advertising because those of you who do know me and who do follow me, you'd know that I'm all about mental health awareness all year, 365 days of the year. Um, I'm just keeping talking about it. So as much as I love having these awareness raising weeks and, and days, um, I do find them frustrating, I think. But anyway, so today I'm going to talk about using our past to better our future. And that is something that I am really passionate about because how many of us sit and self-punish about all the mistakes we've made and allow ourselves to get caught up in the negative connotations of making those mistakes and society doesn't really encourage us to make mistakes and, and succeed after. And I, I did it for years, just self-punishing, just regurgitating everything in my head about how lousy I was as a person, how I hadn't made good decisions, all the things I'd done wrong. And I think a lot of us are, I'm going to use the word guilty, of doing that to ourselves. And it has a massive impact on our mental health. I know when I went into depression, that whole spiral of being mean to, to myself and using those mean words to myself when I'm talking about myself and to myself, it just was a slippery slope into my depression. So my programme focuses on using our, our past and acknowledging, accepting, learning about it, learning from it, and taking that learning forward to make that future whatever we want it to be. And I know a lot of people who are struggling with mental health challenges currently really are bombarding themselves with all the stuff from, from the past, all the negative stuff from the past. And then they come to me and I say, okay, we're gonna look at the past and we're gonna use that to take yourself forward. And they don't really believe that it's possible because how they've been using it prior to that hasn't got them anywhere. And we we desperately dive into and then pick all the things that mm. people have been mm. through. And the, the, the main goal is to understand and, and maybe even to be proud of the things that maybe previously we'd, we'd scolded ourselves for. But actually, what we've learned from that past will help us in the future, will help us build whatever future we want. And it does improve our mental health. There's, there's, from my personal experience, my emotional and my mental health are very, very strongly connected. And when I improved my emotional health, my mental health improved. And as I'm improving my mental health, my emotional health improved and my physical health. So there was a triangle of everything improving as I worked on the different elements of my health. So I want to really help you look at using your past better and knocking on the head all those negative things that society tells us we should be doing and society makes acceptable to do you know they do encourage they, they're more likely to encourage us to really what's the word really examine all the bad stuff we do and forget about the good stuff so what I do is look at presenting that evidence and using all the good stuff because we forget about it. And particularly when we're unwell, I couldn't remember all the good stuff that had happened in my life when I was unwell. It just wouldn't come. I couldn't put it on paper. And it took me about two years for it to start coming back for me to remember, for me to enjoy those memories. So we use those memories to feel well what's coming next. And I think it is important that we are supposed to make mistakes. We are supposed to fail at things. It's not all, life isn't all about success. And success is wonderful. Um, but if we don't fail and we don't make mistakes, how will we learn? Because the more success, the more things that we get right, we don't learn from that. We just know that, that we did it right. Whereas when we make mistakes or we fail, we can, we can pull it apart and go, okay, what were the things that I did well? What were the things that I didn't particularly do well or I didn't particularly like? What do I want to take forward and how will that help me in the, in the future? And then you start getting a picture of the future because while you're unwell, you don't have a picture of the future. 
you have the dread of getting up every day and just being on that treadmill. And then when you start to see the future, you start to design the future. You start to decide on what it's going to look like. How will it be? How will you feel in that future? What will you do in the future? And that is such a powerful thing. So being able to use our past to better our future is such mm -hmm. an important part of self-discovery. Because no matter what's happened in the past, there's lessons to be learned there. If you do have any thoughts on that today, or if you do want to get in touch, you can email me at hayley at hayleytwheeler.co.uk. You can post, post in the comments below. Um, you can just get in touch by telephone number 079 Um But any comments, anything that you've got that you want to share about this topic and, and about how you maybe have learnt how to use the past in a negative way or you've, you've learned to use the past in a positive way to, to fuel your future because that's what it's all about is is doing better than we did maybe this morning doing better than we did this morning um but definitely doing better than we did yesterday it's not about doing better than other people and that's where you get to use your past to better your future have a good day guys and i'm gonna be continuing to post this week every day um <coughs> excuse me uh, post a live every day this week to promote mental health awareness week but i'm here 365 days of the year doing the mental health awareness have a good day bye